Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom asset loading GUI in Roblox Studio and I'm going to be showing you how to make it step by step in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'm going to be showing you how it works right now. As you can see once we load into the game the GUI appears, it shows me assets are left to load and then the GUI disappears once they're all loaded. Perfect. Let's get started on how to build it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do inside a Roblox world is to go into Starter GUI and insert a Screen GUI. Now, inside the Screen GUI, we need to go to the Properties tab and turn on Ignore GUI Inset. Now what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to override the, win the Roblox top bar. That's where you, all your game settings are, etc, etc. Now inside the Surface Screen GUI, we need to insert a frame. And then from inside the frame, we need to change some of the properties. We need to change the size of it to be 1, 1 on the scale. We need to change the background colour to be a nice yellowish colour. Then we turn the anchor point to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now we're going to use this later for the animation. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to go inside our frame and insert a text label. Okay, the first thing we need to do inside the properties of the text label is to change the size to be 1, 0 0.1 in the scale. The next thing we need to do is we need to move it down on our screen slightly. Then change background transparency to 1. Then you go down to the text and change the text to be your game name. Then turn on text scaled and we can change the font to whatever we like. Okay, so the first thing we need to do now is go inside our frame and insert a text label. Inside this text label, we need to change the size to be 1 and 0 0.2 in the scale option and then drag it down our screen. We then need to change the background's transparency to 1 and then turn on text scaled and change the font and the text colour 3 value to be whatever we like. Next, we need to change the text value to be loading. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go into our frame and insert another frame. Inside this frame, we need to change the size to 0.5 and 0.1 and then drag it below our loading text. From here, we can then further scale down our frame to be the right size. Inside this frame now, we need to insert a text label and we need to change the size of this text label to be 1 and 1. We then change the font of this text label to be whatever we like and turn on text scaled. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to go inside our text label and we change the border size pixel to be zero. From the text label, we also need to insert a local script and we need to insert the following code. The first thing we're going to do inside our code is we're going to insert our services. That's content provider and the replicated first. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually make our GUI visible for the player when they join the game. And that's achieved by changing the enabled value of the GUI to be on. Now what this bit of code is going to do is it's going to repeat the code inside of it every 0.2 seconds. Now, this code here is we're, changing, we're making the local variable assets, the amount of assets the game still needs to load. Now in this bit of code, we're changing the text of the loading screen to be the amount of assets inside the game. Now in this bit of code here, we're then saying if the game is loaded, then we need to do the loading animation. 
and the animation is changing the text label to be saying loaded and then eventually moving the GUI outside of the screen. Now, we need to change one of the text labels, the text label which says loading to be loading text, and that just allows us to specify it inside the script. Now, all this code here is optional. This is the animation that flies the GUI off, side, off the screen. It's a nice little animation. However, you can just delete it if you do not want it. This animation uses a tween service. Okay, then values there, you can make them whatever you like, it would change the animation of how it exits the screen. The next thing we need to do is we actually need to remove the GUI from the screen by destroying the GUI. If you are going to remove the animation, you need to keep that line of code in there of destroy. Ah, quickly, I forgot to mention, I need you to add another parent to the script that destroys the GUI, otherwise it will not work. Okay, that's the end of the scripting part of this tutorial. So now if we exit the script and we test it, we see that the GUI appears on our screen, the assets are coming on, and then once all the assets are loaded, then the GUI disappears. That's all of the tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you all. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification button to be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.